On May 2nd, the New York Times confirmed the presence of so-called murder hornets in the United States. Also known as the Asian giant hornet, they're among the deadliest creatures in the animal kingdom. For centuries, they were found only in eastern and southeastern Asia. But today, they found their way across the Pacific Ocean and into the backyards of innocent Americans. In this video, we'll take a closer look at these creatures and what makes them so lethal. Facts First presents Murder Hornets, Invading and Killing America. The murder hornet is scientifically known as Vespa mandarinia. This makes it a member of the wasp family. Also included in the wasp family are yellow jackets and all other types of hornets. However, the Asian giant hornet stands out among these other species. As the name suggests, it's the largest hornet in existence. The Asian giant hornet can grow up to two inches and sometimes even larger. Now that's about twice the size of one inch, so as you can imagine, they're very intimidating creatures. The head of these hornets are a yellow-orange color. The rest of their body is dark brown with occasional stripes that match the color of their heads. One of the most notable features of these hornets, however, is their stinger. The stinger of the Asian giant hornet is a quarter inch long, which is four times the size of a honeybee stinger. But unlike a honeybee, the venom from the Asian giant hornet is especially potent. Experts say that a single sting could be lethal to someone who is allergic to the venom. If you're not allergic, you can still find yourself in a life-threatening situation if you receive multiple stings. The venom from their sting attacks the nervous system instantly. In most fatal cases, victims experience organ failure, especially of the kidney or heart, and anaphylactic shock. To make matters worse, victims often soil their pants in the process. Throughout Asia, there are dozens of deaths every year because of these hornets, and thousands more are injured. So, countries like China have laid out some guidelines for their citizens. Their advice is that anybody who receives 10 stings should seek medical attention. Anybody who receives 30 stings is going to require emergency medical treatment. And anybody who receives 60 or more stings will probably be dead before they can count that high. But humans aren't the only ones at risk of attack. These murder hornets feed on a variety of insects and are known to feed on other wasps and even other colonies of their own species. Above all, however, the Asian giant hornet is known to prey on honeybees. These hornets are ruthless predators. They'll scout out a hive of bees and then signal to their nest mates when they found a good target. When help arrives, they'll begin decapitating the bees. Then they chew them into a paste so they can be fed to offspring. The silver lining to this is that decapitation is very quick so the bees don't suffer except for the immense terror of the hornet attack. At about 10 times the size of one half of a honeybee, the Asian giant hornet is a formidable foe. They use their large mandibles to kill an estimated 40 bees per minute. At this rate, a few hornets can take out an entire honeybee colony within a few hours. Most people are rightfully scared to be stung by these ferocious creatures. However, experts say we should really be scared about their threat to beehives. Honeybees are vital to our ecosystems. They're responsible for as much as one-third of the food we eat and about three halves of the food we don't eat. Bees have been struggling for survival for decades, so the last thing they need is another predator. If the Asian giant hornets remained in Asia where they originated, honeybee populations around the world could continue thriving. Unfortunately, there have been increasing discoveries of this hornet in various areas of North America, including the United States. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding how these hornets made it across the ocean and into North America. Since it's too far for them to fly, some people believe that they made it across on a trade ship, likely one that was carrying soil or crops. One of the more frightening theories is that they have adapted to swim, although this remains unproven. Last winter, hives of the murder hornets were found in White Rock and Vancouver Island, British Columbia. More recently, however, the hornets themselves were seen in Blaine, Washington. In all of these cases, it has been local beekeepers who have discovered the presence of these hornets and experienced their danger firsthand. These beekeepers are now giving their all to keep their bees alive. One of these individuals is even adapting their experience into a novel titled My Beekeeper's Keeper. The Asian giant hornets are thriving in the Pacific Northwest because it's similar to the climate they originate in. They create nests in the ground and around the roots of trees where they're difficult to spot. Furthermore, they fly up to speeds of 25 miles per hour and have the ability to travel great distances in one day. These traits make it notoriously difficult to hunt the hornets and prevent them from spreading. But this isn't stopping beekeepers and entomologists from trying. Unfortunately, they have not yet discovered the most effective strategy. Currently, a small team in Washington is using makeshift traps and lures. Once captured, they plan on tracking the location of the hornets using RFID tags so they can trace them back to their nests and exterminate them. 
This is just one of the techniques researchers are testing to stop the Asian giant hornets from settling in permanently. They say if they cannot stop them within the next few years, they won't be able to do it at all. This means this is a critical time for dealing with the invasive species. One of the biggest threats from invasive species is that without predators to keep their population in check, they'll quickly spread and take control of an ecosystem. Oftentimes, they completely eradicate the species that they prey on in the process. We've seen this happen before with the Alaskan bullworm and the long femur lemurs. It is paramount that we figure out a solution before these murder hornets threaten our honeybees nationwide. While researchers develop a plan of action, residents of the Pacific Northwest and the country are advised to stay alert. Asian giant hornets are expected to become more active in the spring and summer as they establish their nests and emerge to get a tan. Beekeepers will be at highest risk for an encounter and are reminded that murder hornets can sting through beekeeping suits. Others are encouraged to cease socializing with honeybees until further progress is made. Researchers around the world are still looking into the best options for protection. A suit of armor is effective, but impractical. Early studies show that these hornets may be repelled by strong body odor, so many people have already stopped bathing as a precaution. Sadly, more research is needed before these kinds of things can be fully implemented. Asian giant hornets are known to remain in their nests at night, so there's no threat of attack for people who are outdoors in the evening or early morning hours. Furthermore, only female hornets have stingers and pose a significant threat to humans. In the event that you encounter an Asian giant hornet, you may want to evaluate its gender before taking further action. In the meantime, stay safe and leave us a comment detailing your protective measures against the murder hornets. And as always, subscribe to Facts Verse for more videos.